has been more than three weeks since Title 42 expired. The public health order that allowed U.S. authorities to swiftly expel migrants encountered at the southern border due to COVID-19. Here in El Paso, we are seeing fewer migrants on our streets, but does that mean border agents are encountering fewer migrants? ABC 7's Lilo Cicero got an update from immigration officials and joins us live with the details. Lilo. Yeah, customs officials say the number of migrants encountered at the southern border has fallen dramatically since Title 42 ended. According to Homeland Security's Blas Nunez Neto, unlawful entries between our ports of entry have declined by 70% since May 12th, and customs officials have repatriated over 88 over 38,000 single adults and families to more than 80 countries. Well, here in El Paso, city officials tell us border agents are encountering about 634 migrants a day. And our shelters, well, we're told they're operating normally now. And the schools that the city had opened to shelter migrants, they're now on standby, but they are empty. And remember those buses that were contracted to ferry migrants to other destinations in the U.S.? Well, the county tells us a charter actually had to be canceled on Friday because there weren't enough migrants to to go on it. So why the fewer numbers? This is the first time in our bilateral history that the government of Mexico has allowed the repatriation of non-Mexican nationals at the border under our Title VIII authorities. DHS has made clear through these efforts that there are serious consequences for unlawful entry. Yeah, Homeland Security officials, they also explain that Mexico is increasing their enforcement efforts along their southern border as well, which is slowing the, the slow there. And additionally, Colombia and Panama, they're also reportedly now helping to manage the movement of migrants before they can reach the U.S. border. Leloba Cicero, ABC7. All right, Leloba.